Hello everyone! Welcome back to Wanderlust Crochet with Dana and Dooley. Say hello to everybody, baby. <laughs> um, I'm Dana and this is Dooley. Just in case, you know, you get us confused. We look so much alike. Yeah, yeah we do. Um, this is 10 non-yarny things about me. Um, I was tagged by Paige at Paige BD Crochet Creations, and at the end of this video, I'm going to tag, I'm actually going to tag two people um, who are trying to grow their channels. Okay, so number one, I am a war widow. Uh, my husband Wayne, nicknamed the Bomb Dog, um, he did two tours of duty in the Navy, and then he became a contractor. Um, he handled um, the bomb docks, the explosive detector docks. And uh, I got that dreaded phone call in December of 2011 in the middle of the night. He was gone. Um, and in honor of him, I am wearing one of his favorite shirts. He was a very big guy. <laughs> <laughs> he would wear shirts like this. He would wear shirts that said infidel, you know, that pointed to his face. He, he was a funny guy. Okay, so, um, and yes, that was very devastating. I was kind of a zombie up until about 2015, 16. It took me a long time to kind of come out of that. Now, I'm, you know, I don't think you ever get over something like that, but um, I'm okay. I am okay. Uh, number two, I was a rodeo queen. Uh, I grew up in a little town in North Central Oregon at, in the Columbia River Gorge, and I was the 1986 Fort Dalles Days Rodeo Queen. Uh, when I was six years old, I remember I think we were at the Hillsboro Rodeo with my mom and my stepdad, um, and I think I was kind of prancing around on a broom or a stick horse or something and I told my mom that day I was going to be a rodeo queen. Now my mom was on the same rodeo court back in 1966 so um, my dream came true. Um, number three, for 10 years I was a professional horse trainer, riding instructor and barrel racing coach. Um, foundational true horsemanship that crosses all lines of uh, horse horsemanship disciplines um, is kind of a passion of mine um, I but I got tired of being broke so I started driving truck <laughs> number four I play a game called heyday I don't play it all the time you know I I'm on the road and and a lot of times when I get done at night I you know Mostly when I'm at home with mom, I play Heyday. So if any of you play Heyday, please email me and we'll be friends. <laughs> Number five, um, when Wayne and I got married, February 14th, 2002, I weighed 310 pounds. Wayne was at 315. Um, I have lost a lot of weight. I don't eat um, sugar, flour, or starch. Um, and I am still 40 pounds overweight and this 40 pounds is really been hard but anyway I feel good I finally felt so good that um, I felt good enough not to be a professional horse trainer anymore I don't I don't know how that works don't ask me I know it doesn't make sense but I decided to go drive truck um, number six at one time uh, when I was much younger I was considered a black powder markswoman my father taught me how to hunt, fish, ride dirt bikes, go four-wheeling, um, and one thing we did a lot of was go to these black powder rendezvous and compete. Um, and in my age group, um, I, I usually won. And there were times that I, complete, I competed against, you know, men in the several counties around where I grew up, and I beat them. Um, I also know how to throw a tomahawk and stick it and a uh, throw a knife. <laughs> Number seven. Don't tell Dewey this, but I'm a cat person. Um, I have always owned cats. My first word was cat. 
the first word I could spell was cat. C-A-T, cat. C-A-T, cat. Just ask my mother. I'm sure I drove her nuts. Um, Dooley, when Dooley came to me, I, I don't know what to say. Um, Dooley is very special. Uh, he has been with me for 10 years now. And, um, Oh, you can see my, my eight inch frying pan back there. I'm getting ready to cook up a steak. <laughs> Dooley's waiting for me to cook up this steak because he knows that I'm going to share it with him. <laughs> He's like, let me lick that mama. Let me clean it for you. Okay. So anyway, I am a cat person. Um, always have been. My mom's a cat person. Dooley just happens to be very special. In fact, first two years of Dooley's life, he thought he was a cat because um, <laughs> he grew up with cats in the house. He slept on the back of the couch. He was up in the windowsill. He was a cat. Okay, number eight. Um, I am an Amway distributor, or I will be here within the next couple of days. I stopped renewing my distributorship um, a few, you know, like a year after Wayne died. Uh, because I lost everything. I, I didn't have a dime to my name and I didn't have the frame of mind to help myself. But anyway, um, I'm going to be an Amway distributor, but I'm not going to, um, I'm not interested in building that business anymore, even though that is the best business model in the world and, and nobody can convince me otherwise. I mean, why are they all trying to be just like them? Um, unfortunately, um, it, you know, the distributorship is made up of people and people make mistakes. Let's just say that. Um, but the business model itself is perfect. I just, I don't want to build that business. I want to have access to those um, products again because I truly believe in them. And, you know, my aunt, she likes to buy that stuff from me. My mom, you know, and I can use all that stuff. This time it's just about, it's just about the products. And if somebody wants to buy something from me, that's great. That's wonderful. But that, I don't care <laughs> if they do or not. Okay, so number nine. I, at one time in about, at I want to say 2006, 2007-ish, I made some wonderful handmade soaps. I was just really getting into it. Um, this is back during the days of a lot Yahoo groups and I you know I learned so much from those people in Colorado who were around me and who were members of you know those Yahoo groups um, and I was really learning how to make some wonderful stuff. And since I am moving in with my mom, one of the things I'm looking forward to is actually having the opportunity to get back into soap making. Uh, I love handmade soaps, lye soaps. Uh, I think they're the best in the world. Um, and uh, I, I can see that things have changed since I was involved in that. So I'm looking forward to that. Number 10. I don't drink. I don't drink. And it's not just because I'm a member of the Church of Christ or, you know, I I don't belong to any 12-step program. I used to drink like a fish when I was younger because that's just what you did. Um, but I kind of, I just kind of felt like most of all, it was just kind of a burden to me. Um, and smoking, same thing. I used to smoke pack a day at least, but that was like, you know, I started to look at that as like a waste of money. I don't need to do that. Um, I don't care if you do drink. I don't care if you do smoke. That That is your business. No judgments. I just I just felt like, Dana, you, you don't need to do this. You, you got better things to do. Um, I have my addictions, my coffee. Oh my goodness. I just, I don't drink. So anyway, that's number 10. Um, Dooley and I have to get up at three o'clock in the morning to make a delivery very early in Spokane. Come up here. Come on. Look at this. Come on. Get up here. Yeah. I want you to say goodbye to everybody. Yeah. He's like, I want that steak, mama. <laughs> He's sniffing that steak. 
anyway so 10 non yarny things about me that's me right there uh, that's all I could think of and it took me it took me a couple of weeks to <laughs> um, so the two people I'm gonna tag oh here we go um, those two people that I shouted out in my video yesterday the day before the days all moved together do you, do, do you and do, do they need groomed okay thank you thank you honey um, <laughs> B's O one B E E E three E's Z O one tagging you girl and I'm tagging Becca Busy Fingers. Yeah, um, just you know, off the top of my head, I went and kind of scanned their their channel, and it looks like they haven't done this yet. So you two are up. So Julie and I are gonna have dinner and go to bed. I love you guys. Bye.